A very common problem that happens with iPhones is all of a sudden you won't be able to go ahead and hear the person on the other line or they won't hear you. This all changes when you go ahead and put it on speakerphone, all of a sudden you can hear them. So there's different ways to go ahead and fix this. Not always are successful. There are some other issues that could go wrong, but if any of these ways can go ahead and fix it, you're going to know all of them by the end of the video so your phone will be working correctly. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new and you like iPhone tips, tricks, tutorials, and carrier conversations, please do me a favor, smack that subscribe button and join us. With that said, let's go ahead and just get started as this can be a lot of information. The first thing we want to do is see what kind of mode we're in. If you are running iOS 13.0 or newer, so first thing we want to do is pull down from the top and we want to look at the volume. I know mine's currently saying Apple TV. This is a new update they've recently done where if I'm screen mirroring, it shows I'm connected to Apple TV which is unfortunate because basically it would pretty much show just a normal audio button. What you want to do is see if that's the normal audio button or if it's a pair of headphones. If it's a pair of headphones, that means it thinks your headphones are currently plugged in. If that's the case, you want to get your headphones out, plug them in your port and then unplug them until it goes away. It may take a few tries. If it continues to happen, you may want to clean the port and usually you want to do that with something that is not going to go ahead and cause any electrical issues. Maybe like a toothpick that would be a good one to do and just try to get everything around the port out because a lot of times there's dust and stuff that can go in there and cause this problem. Once you successfully go ahead and uh, bump it out of headphone mode, it should go ahead and start responding correctly. So if that was not the case, this is going to go ahead and be another option you can do. Let's go ahead and choose settings. And we want to go to accessibility. If you're running 13.0, it'll be right here. If not, you may want to upgrade to the newer version. If you can't upgrade to the newer version, then it would be under general and then accessibility. So here's accessibility. We'll go into there and we're going to go down. And what people do is they turn off noise cancellation. They go into audio visual and here's phone noise cancellation. You want to go ahead and turn that off. And then we're going to go ahead and go out of accessibility. We're going to go into hearing devices. And we want to turn on hearing aid compatibility. And then we can go ahead and choose back. And with that, that should take care of it if it is a software issue. You want to try it again, see if they can hear you and you can hear them. If everything's good, awesome. You should be all set. Just leave the settings like that. If that didn't fix it, then unfortunately we're in the other boat, which basically means there could be an issue going on with the phone. At this point, there's one other software thing you can try, but it's the last thing you want to try and that's deleting everything. So make sure everything is backed up if you do that through your iCloud. After you do that, you would go to general and then go to the bottom reset. And once again, I just want to say this for clarifications. Do not do this unless everything's backed up because you will lose everything on the phone. You would hit the second option here. Erase all content and settings. After the reset of everything, you want to bring the phone back on, make a phone call to somebody and see if it's fixed. If it's fixed, great. It was something else going on with the software. If it's not fixed, either your speaker or your microphone's going bad. And unfortunately that can't just be replaced. So at this point, the phone would not be good to make and receive calls. Some people say you can try pressing on the screen in certain areas you can try that especially if you have a cutout at the top a lot of times the microphones are in there and depending on your phone model they're moved all around so it's hard to say exactly where they are at any given moment with this you should have come to the conclusion if you can fix your phone or not if this did work for you please comment down below let me know which way worked because this is going to also help others 
and going forward they can see which ones to try. If you'd like to take a look at any other information I have, you can also check my website, helpfultutorials.net. I do have some blogs on there, plus all my videos are listed under the video section. It makes it a lot easier to find what you're looking for. It's a great website, and I really hope you appreciate it. Here are some other videos I think you'll really enjoy, and thank you so much for the view.